sorry. If I stand up, then my mind is not going to uh, be too clear. <laughs> this way, I can talk what I want to talk. Kate, I love you. I love you even, well, of course, now. All of us love you forever because you were such an incredible, incredible, uh, unique person. I met her when I went back to Japan for some reason, I don't know. And uh, there was a crowd of guys, and I don't know what they were doing. But then I realized that in the center of that, Kate was there. And Kate was uh, not doing anything to influence them to um, work like the usual guys. Kate was just telling them how she felt about the life, how she felt about the world. And all these guys, they were artists. And uh, they just couldn't stop listening to her. And it was really amazing. So I wanted to get near to her, but it was very difficult. So I, said, I just I get, gave up and just waited for her to finish it. And then we said hi. That's how we said hi together. That was the first time. And each time I meet Kate, um, Kate would, uh, well, I was a little bit uh, introspective and shy, but she was like this. Hi, Yoko. Hi, Yoko. <laughs> so I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and I remember her so well. Her smile is not the kind of smile that you see in anybody else. It was just part of her body, and it just came out. It was beautiful. And then um, after Japan, uh, I went immediately to her uh, loft, which was, um, I forgot where it was, but <laughs> in a kind of place that the loft is, you know. And she was living with this uh, Japanese guy. And the Japanese guy was an artist, too. But there was such a difference between her art and his art. Uh, so um, I thought, well, you know, uh, he, he's good for an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he knew about that. And I think he didn't mind it. He was a very, very nice guy. And um, Kate was, as usual, talking, talking, talking. Uh, my history of being a feminist, uh, I don't want to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that interesting. <laughs> but uh, my uh, husband, he was always complaining. He said, you know, I, I want people to know that uh, there are men who are feminists. But, you know, I, I like to create a kind of a party, a part where we can, all the men can discuss about being uh, a feminist. But there's nobody around. I said, well, you know, why don't you try? <laughs> But I, I don't think he tried. <laughs> uh, before he tried, <laughs> he went far away <laughs> from us. And then the next was my son, Sean, who's a very good musician and uh, very opinionated, just like us, you know, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but uh, he's now complaining that... Uh, Feminists are very hard on uh, male feminists. So I said, look, you have to uh, do something about it. You can, well, he said, well, mommy, you were a 
the feminist for a long time, so maybe you, you can talk to him, talk to them. I said, no, I'm not going to talk to them. You have to find a way to get there. And so, you know, but he is a feminist too. <laughs> and I know many, many, many. Well, I wouldn't say many, but I know many uh, strongly feminist women, um, men. <laughs> and that's how it is now. It's very good. We are all feminists, men and women. And we can create a very strong world together uh, with a little help from women. <laughs> Uh, my husband said something about it, you know, that um, I forgot how she, she said it, but uh, and the fact that uh, we have the women to teach us kind of thing, you know, and so we can get there. And it was really amazingly incredibly stupid <laughs> that the whole world was just thinking of women as their slaves, convenient slaves. And we were so scared and so hurt. Uh, I have to tell you about this short, short story, very short. <laughs> uh, I found this woman who was looking very ugly the reason he was, she was uh, looking ugly was her expression, you know, like this. And I said, uh, she was working for us. And so I said, um, are you happy? So said, no. Well, uh, what makes you not happy? Well, life. But then she started to tell me that this was in England and all English men, meaning working class men, keep uh, their wives pregnant every year so they won't uh, run away. What an incredible idea. But, uh, and so I was really touched by that. There are many women who are still suffer suffering and can't any say anything about it because it's just, just a scary world. Scary world where if they stood up and said something, they might be killed. So you should know that. Uh, most, of, uh, most of you are probably middle class or upper class or something. <laughs> but uh, there are many, many women who are surprised, uh, suffering and uh, but it's not true to say they're all uh, working class, because I know some women in uh, upper class just disappeared <laughs> for no reason. Uh, so we have to create a, a world that we can all do things together and with a big smile. Thank you very much. <laughs>